Matthew chapter 5 verses 38 to 48. Alleluia, Alleluia. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected in him. Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other one as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand over your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go for two miles. Give to the one, and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. You have heard that it was said. You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father, for he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the just. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. Matthew chapter 5 verse 5 verse 38, Again you have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye and a tooth, for a tooth. God's purpose behind this law was an expression of mercy. This law was given to judges and said, in effect, make the punishment fit the crime. It was not a guide for personal revenge. These laws were given to limit vengeance and help the court administer punishment that fit the crime. Some people, however, were using this phrase to justify their revenge against others. Some people still try to excuse their acts of revenge by saying, I was just doing to him what he did to me. The intent of the law fulfilled, nonviolent actions constitute your enemy because you have not become violent by securing your rights. Loving one's neighbor applies to all persons. Leviticus 19.18 Take no revenge and cherish no grudge against your fellow countrymen. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. Biblical love refers to deeds, knowings. The deed of praying for your enemies shows love. The deed of welcoming outsiders shows love and fulfilled the law. The issue is how to confront evil. Nonviolent actions break the cycle of violence. It breaks violent action between people of unequal power and status. Turn the other cheek. Turn the other cheek. Take your coat, let him have your cloak. One forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. These persons are victims of injustice inflicted by another, more powerful person. The victim is expected to respond with submission because retaliation is an unrealistic option. Met without confrontation. Actively confront injustice with positive nonviolent action. Positive actions breaks the cycle of violence yet draws attention to the injustice. Nonviolent action allows for give and take and reconciliation. Matthew chapter 5 verses 43 to 45, Love your enemies telling us not to retaliate, Jesus keeps us from taking the laws into our own hands. By loving and praying for our enemies, we can overcome evil with good. The Pharisees interpreted Leviticus 19 verse 18 as teaching that they should love only those who love them in return. The Pharisees also interpret Psalm 139 verses 19 to 22 and 140 verses 9 to 11 as meaning that they should hate their enemies. But Jesus says we are to love our enemies. Romans chapter 12 verses 19 to 21. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. No, if your enemy is hungry, feed him, if he is thirsty, give him drink, for by so doing you will heap burning coals upon his head. Do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good. Why do Jesus' disciples love their enemies? If you love your enemy and treat them well, you will truly show that Jesus is the Lord of your life. This is only possible for those who give themselves fully to God because only he can deliver people from their natural selfishness. In the Old Testament we read. Proverbs 25 21-22, If your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he is thirsty, give him water to drink. For you will heap coals of fire on his head. And the Lord will reward you. Matthew 5 verses 46-48 Love everyone. For if you love those who love you, what reward have you? 
Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you salute only your brethren, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? You, therefore, must be perfect, as your heavenly Father is perfect. The command to be perfect in Matthew 5:48 is translated as merciful in Luke 6 verse 36 36. Both mean to have complete or all-encompassing love. Christ became perfect through his sufferings. Humans cannot be considered perfect, but readers are encouraged to be perfect by their demonstration of an unwavering faith. Paul says that he has not yet attained perfection, but perfection will only be realized in the lump. Be an example. Show kindness to unkind people. Forgive people who don't deserve it. Love unconditionally. Your actions always reflect who you are. Simple Reminders